this video, I'm going to go over how I took this old bar table and turned it into this nice side table. I hope you enjoy watching. So one of the bars went out of business, and this was a uh, table they had at auction. It went for a few dollars, so picked it up. I'm going to refinish it. It's got cigarette burns all over it. So we're just going to sand it down and refinish it and see how it turns out. See all the little cigarette burns everywhere. All right, let's get started with this. All right, to refinish this, first off, we have safety goggles, hearing protection. I have my little belt sander with a fairly aggressive 80 grit or maybe a 60 grit on here. I'm going to use that to rip the surface off of this. And then I have a router. So what I'm going to do is to get rid of this edge on it is I'm going to reroute a new edge on it. That way I don't have to sit there and sand all this fine detail out of it. And I'm going to get started with sanding it. Okay, right, so this is the table after I belt sanded it. Well, unfortunately, the middle piece of it was a veneer. It wasn't solid oak, so this is uh, pine plywood underneath the uh, center of it. I also rerouted the edge, so it has a different pattern to it, so that way I didn't have to get in there and sand those little cracks. But, so what I'm going to do is paint the middle of it black before I lacquer the table. And that'll just cover this uh, piece of uh, plywood that's in here. All right, to cover the center up, I'm going to paint it black. And what I did is I just covered it with blue tape all the way around the outer edge where the oak is. And that leaves the uh, pine plywood exposed. So I'm going to paint it next. So I just finished painting it flat black. And what I'm going to do is go and try and find a stencil that I can go put on here fish or a koi fish or something on it so it'll look really cool. So I decided I'm going to try and make a stencil on the laser so I can make uh, the stencil that I can spray paint this gold pattern onto um, the tabletop here. So I'm going to go ahead and try and cut this on the laser and see how it turns out. I loaded the design into the Glowforge interface. I'm going to cut this on cardboard and these are my settings. I'm going to use a speed of 180 at a power of 80 and I think that should cut it through. So this is how it looks after being cut on the laser. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out and then uh, make sure all these pieces come free. It feels like most of them are free, so there's a few in here that may not be, that may need to be cut out with an exacto knife. But let's go see how it's going to work. It just lifted right out of the laser and pretty much everything just came right out of it. So I guess that setting works pretty good for cutting cardboard. That's a 180 speed and an 80 power. So let's go put this on the uh, table and see if it paints well. Alright, to use this as a template, I'm just weighing it down with some rocks from the yard. And then I'm going to spray paint this and see how it turns out. So this is how it turned out after uh, removing the template. And I'm going to go ahead and touch up all these overspray spots. Uh, a little bit of gold paint got on the uh, black. So 
Let's see how it turns out. It's looking good. So when I went ahead and touched up all the uh, gold overspray, I went and gave the uh, goldfish a little bit of a black speckling. Um, give it a little bit more interesting uh, effect. So I'm going to peel all this blue tape off and then we're going to um, seal the top of the table. I'm going to stain the um, sanded uh, oak also. Since the table's oak, I'm going to use a golden oak uh, stain. And then we're going to stain the uh, part where the uh, tape was at, where I sanded the oak down to its original wood color, and go from there. So here's the table with the stain wiped off after I just stained it. I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm going to come back out here and seal it. Okay, so this is what the finished product looks like. I uh, went through with a sharpie and uh, kind of went through and filled in where the bleed over from the, the stencil was. That way uh, everything has a little bit more detail to it. And then for a final coat, I've been using this fast drying polyurethane. And I think I'm going to put on a few more coats, but um, just to make sure it's nice and protected. And this has kind of turned out a lot better looking than I thought it would. So, I hope you enjoyed watching, and subscribe if you like, and press the like button. Thanks for watching.